This is the new Audi A6, and as you probably guessed, it's not a production car just yet. It's called the Audi A6 e-tron concept. Audi loves making concept cars like the crazy. The new A6 e-tron concept is different because it will actually go on sale eventually. And the finished car should look exactly, well, pretty much like this concept. So Audi's confirmed that the finished car won't get the concept's invisible door handles, but top specification models should come with 22 inch wheels like the concept. And you'll be able to get the same rear view cameras instead of wing mirrors. The car's swoopy outline isn't going to change much either and it'll come with the same two-tone side skirts and full-length brake light as well. This is now our evolution because we hide some light functions in the black mask. And that's why the top part, the main light, what you read, is very, very slim. It's the slimmest headlight you find on an Audi model. This headlight has three rows of LEDs where the customer can configure his own daytime running light. Via several DML modules in the front and the side, we project our turn indicators onto the floor. Via the projection, we communicate with pedestrians and of course, this is for us a strong safety feature. Coming to the rear end, two more things are very important to mention. First, the black panel, which includes the rear lights, because it's an extension of the rear screen. Under the black panel, you see a light bar, which is made via OLEDs. And via these OLEDs, you have very three-dimensional light animations. The second important point is that the rear end is clearly driven by aerodynamics. Obviously, when you have a low drag coefficient, you have a higher range on an electric car. And this is clearly visible here in the A6 e-tron concept. So, to sum it up, the A6 e-tron concept is a perfect extension of our future e-tron lineup. The new Audi A6 e-tron comes with a 100 kilowatt hour battery. That's slightly larger than the 93 kilowatt hour battery you get in the e-tron GT, but smaller than the 108 kilowatt hour battery in the Mercedes EQS. We're talking just a few kilowatt hours here and there. Audi says this new electric A6 will have more than 435 miles of range. Audi will beat that car when it comes to charging times because the A6 e-tron is compatible with 270 kilowatt chargers. If you can find one of those chargers, you can boost the Audi's range by 186 miles in just 10 minutes. Audi hasn't revealed what the A6 e-tron's cabin will look like. Maybe it's all a secret, or maybe they just haven't finished designing it yet. But you can get a good idea of how it will look by checking out the e-tron GT and the Q4 e-tron. These both get sporty minimalist interiors with two infotainment displays. That's one fewer screen than you get in a normal A6 saloon. Maybe Audi has realised that adding more screens isn't always the best thing to do. Anyway, there'll definitely be a virtual cockpit like in every Audi these days, and you know there'll be tons of posh materials and mood lighting, just like in the e-tron GT. The new A6 e-tron isn't just an electric version of the current A6, and it isn't a four-door version of the e-tron GT either. It's a completely new car, and it's the first Audi built using PPE.
E. No, I'm not talking about personal protective equipment. I'm talking about the premium platform electric. That's how it is named for a load of new components that it will use to make lots of new electric cars. And the new A6 e-tron will be the first Audi to use this platform. But there'll also be a new SUV called the Q6 e-tron. And Audi can also shrink the PPE platform down to make much smaller cars. Do you know what? I thought it'd be a good idea to try out the system myself while driving. So I'm in an A8 hybrid. I'm going to turn the digital matrix LEDs on. And what it should do is project a carpet of light in front of me to help guide me and keep me in lane. Another thing that it does, which is quite interesting, is if I need to indicate to change lane, it'll help guide me into the lane. Can you see it swooping? And I can move across and it will then fill that lane before I get into it. What is the maximum speed that I can get to? Can I do the full 250 kilometers an hour? It's scary going this quick in the dark, especially when someone pulls out unnecessarily. Yes, get out of the way. Out. It's quite quick, this hybrid. It's got 460 horsepower from its 3 litre twin turbo V6. Come on to an electric motor. Two hundred and sixty-three kilometers an hour. You see, Audi's always been an innovator in terms of headlight technology. It was the first manufacturer to introduce white LED daytime running lights to a production car back in two thousand and four on the old A eight. Audi isn't just about headlight technology; it's also interested in tail light technology. So the new A eight is available with OLED tail lights, which actually have six different elements in. So you can change the graphic display on the tail light from the infotainment system. It has eight of those panels. So so eight times six, that's 48 different light elements. From 2024, when the A6 e-tron arrives, you will be able to get a lighting signature at the rear that has 24 panels with 60 different elements in. So that's a total of 1,500 light elements. And it means that you can do crazy stuff like this. Beautiful. So here we are then, a world first playing a video game projected by a car's headlights. Now, this particular game has actually been developed by Audi's light design team. They're better at designing lights than games, shall we say. This is just for a demo, really. So let's have a little bit of a play. So essentially, what I'm going to do is control the spacecraft around this track. And the idea will be that various game manufacturers, just like with mobile phones, will create games for the car. And you can just imagine, you know, you're charging your Audi A6 e-tron and you sit there in front of the car having a bit of a blast from a game. It could be that you sat inside the car projecting onto a wall and using the car's steering and brakes to play a driving game. The new A6 A6 e-tron shares part of its name with the A6 saloon, but it looks more like a four-door coupe. Maybe they should have called it the A7 e-tron instead. Anyway, it's a few centimetres taller than an A7, so it should be a bit roomier inside. Although lots of space under the floor is going to be taken up by batteries, so to help with passenger space, Audi will probably give the new car foot garages, like in the e-tron GT. These sound fancy, but they're just holes cut in the battery that give your passengers somewhere to put their feet. And if you need lots of boot space, there's a chance Audi could build an estate version of the A6 e e-tron as well. Audi hasn't revealed many details about the new A6 e-tron's performance, but it has said that entry-level cars with a single motor will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than 7 seconds. It's also confirmed that more powerful dual-motor versions will have 476 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. That's the same amount of power you get from an entry-level e-tron GT, but it's about 160 newton meters more torque. This means the A6 will do 0 to 60 miles an hour in less than 4 seconds, which is a bit quicker than in the GT, which takes 4.1 seconds. Aerodynamics are really important in electric cars like the A6 e-tron, partly because the less drag a car makes, the less energy it uses to push its way through the air, which helps increase its range. But it's also important because good aerodynamics help reduce wind noise, and that's the sort of thing you notice in electric cars, because they don't have noisy engines whirring away. Good thing then that the A6 e-tron should be one of the most aerodynamic cars on sale. It can't quite match the Mercedes EQS's record-breaking drag coefficient of 0.20 CD, but the Audi's 0.22 CD figure is still pretty good. There are a few reasons for this. It has a completely blanked off front grille, a flattened floor, and a rear diffuser that looks like it might actually do something, unlike on most Audis. But there's something else about this new e-tron that will help it save energy and keep it super quiet. And it's the paint. This new Helio Silver colour has been specially made by Audi to reflect the sun's heat away from the car. This means you don't have to have the climate control turned up so high on hot days. That saves energy and it should make the cabin a tiny bit quieter as well because you can then turn the air conditioning fan down and still stay cool. Progress starts with a vision. Innovation starts with imagination. And our story 
starts with a feeling. The story of living progress continues, furthering our idea of progressive premium mobility. Creative light technology. Reshaping the idea of premium mobility. Harnessing the power of digitalization and connecting you to the world. Progress and sustainability at the heart of everything we do. The Audi A6 Avant e-tron concept.